What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at the new freedom events that have arrived recently into GTA Online, as well as I'm going to be showing you guys how to get started and the rewards. Before we get into that though, if you guys aren't already, make sure to be subscribed and put on post notifications and don't forget to drop a like on this video as well. So we're going to start off with the Spengler Trail random events. So first off, if you guys want this to spawn for you, you're going to have to be in the same session for at least 20 minutes and basically there's five different spawn locations and these are mainly around the Blaine County area of the map and you'll just have to keep going to each and every one until eventually it does spawn in for you. I'd really recommend doing this in a public session because when it comes to random events that you tell online, most of the time when you're in a public session it does spawn in it's something that might be obvious for most people is that i would really recommend using a mk2 or like some type of flying vehicle because going around and driving is just going to take way too long all right especially for this type of stuff you're going to need some type of flying aircraft or whatever so make sure you have that but once it spawns in for you you're going to see this blue dot that pops up on your map and you can head down to that location you're going to see a flare now once you head there it's going to prompt you to inspect it and that is how you're going to start the trail the flare would then disappear and you have to keep looking around till you find the next flare and just keep going on and on. These flares are pretty easy to find since they're just pink smoke that goes up in the air so just keep looking around and just finding them and they're really close to each other as well so it shouldn't be really hard to see but just keep following them. It should be four flares until eventually once you get to the last one you're going to see this green crate or green box that spawns next to one of them and you can head over there and you can open up this green crate and you will see that you get a reward of $25,000 and 2000 RP. Now this little event is of course very similar to the metal detector one that we got last week where you basically do all this just to get pretty much no money. However though I would say that this little event is a bit more better because first off it's on Los Santos so you don't have to fly to you know Caprico or whatever and then also you don't have to search for a metal detector as well. So it's up to you if you want to do this trail event it's just going to spawn a free one from time to time and if you see it and if you want to just go ahead and take advantage of it and just start getting that free money and RP in GTA Online. Now there's also a new smuggler plane event that does happen as well. So just like the smuggler trail, there is five possible spawn locations and these do spawn around the Blaine County area as well and also the Vinewood area. So just like the smuggler trail, you're going to have to go to these five different locations and so eventually just spawn in for you. And once it does, it's going to be this blue dot and you're going to have to follow a plane this time. So eventually it's going to crash into a body of water and then from there you're going to have to jump into the water and I'd recommend putting on a scuba suit or a rebreather because you might be there for a little bit and they're going to be looking for that plane crash site and once you find it it shouldn't be that difficult look for a smuggler cache which is going to be in this briefcase and once you collect it you're going to get twenty five thousand dollars and also two thousand rp just like the smuggler trail so it is pretty cool that rockstar is adding some new random events to the cheats outline even though it doesn't pay the best it does freshen up the game a little bit but i would recommend checking it out either way it is kind of similar to the exotic exports that we have in free roam as well as the Caprico sleeping guards and maybe rockstar might increase the payouts on these smuggler random events for a limited time or forever but as all for this video though hope you guys did enjoy and if you did drop a like and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below and if you aren't already make sure to be subscribed and put up post notifications if you want to see more gta and read that content here on the channel but I'll see you on the next one though. Peace.